Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Teacup Tarot. My name is Rhea and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at what personality traits or what emotional traits are you carrying from your past life, okay? Remember this, for me personally, I believe before this birth, we were born multiple times, we've lived in different countries, we've had different experiences and we are a result of all of these experiences together and learning more okay just keep that in mind when it comes to the context of this video so these are the traits that you still hold from certain past lifetimes you have three piles in front of you when it comes to selecting your pile please pick one that is most for you of course you can pick according to the feathers you can pick according to the images or of course one of these ice cream candy sticks i'll give you some time when it comes to your selection and then we start with pile one hello and if you've selected pile one then these are the personality traits that you carry on from a past lifetime now let's dive into your reading pile one for you the personality trait that you're carrying from a past lifetime is that of a mentor whether you are age 15 you're age 50 or you're age 90 You'll always have this air of wisdom around you. You'll be very, very happy when it comes to guiding people, advising people and making sure that people make the right decision for your life. It's almost this quality that you have within you. It's like you are taking up the role of a teacher in this lifetime, consciously or unconsciously. And that is a trait that you've been carrying from a past lifetime. So your ability to guide people is something that comes to you from a previous birth. And along with that, you know, you may be very childlike in nature, like you probably forget things easily, you forgive easily and you always are happy in some cases. I feel like your personality may be very innocent in this lifetime. And maybe it's very easy to influence you when it comes to certain things because you believe people. You take people at face value because you are that innocent. Yeah? So this divine childlike nature is something that you're carrying from a previous birth. Sometimes it may happen that two things you like simultaneously or two choices that are very dramatically different call to you. It's because probably in one lifetime you experience these things and in another lifetime you experience those. And because of which making a decision for you is little difficult in these things. Yeah, so you may be very comfortable with opposing ideas as well. Like you see the, you know, positivity in both things. And sometimes people may misunderstand you because of this trait, because you appreciate all points of view. Yeah, because you probably have lived in multiple kind of births, you know. Probably in one birth you've been very rich, so you understand the views of the rich. In another birth you may have been extremely poor, so you understand that part too. So extreme situations do you understand both things and because of which you're okay with both. Now, you are overachievers, pile one, you know, and I feel like that is a tendency that you carry on from a past birth. And probably, you know, you take up more than you can actually, you know, resolve in this lifetime. And that is because maybe in one of the births that you've had before, you had the birth of a slave where things were put on you and you did not have a choice to deal with this and because of which you know it's like natural to you that okay no matter how many things come together i can take care of it but remember you did not have to carry that trait with you today you can share the burden you have people in your life today who will help you with things so you know that taking up too much may be a responsibility that you've gotten on yourself from a previous birth now you know, as I mentioned, you agree with people of diverse point of views because of which your friendships are also with people who are very different. I won't be surprised if, you know, even if you're like 25 years old and your best friend is 90 years old because you can connect with them and you can connect with a child of three years age. That is your speciality. You're very adaptable. Again, I see this because you've had very different kind of lifetimes. You've experienced extremes, which makes you very, very amicable. You have this personality trait of being very likable. You can probably adjust yourself in any situation and find happiness, which I think is beautiful. And once again, it's a part of divine nature. Yeah. Once again, this is coming to you from a past lifetime as well. 
you care and you care deeply you give and you give with an open heart you're courageous you're very very brave and these things are also from a past lifetime probably because you know what it means to not have things you give easily and you also know what it feels like to be generous you know because you were rich in one lifetime so you give with an open heart but in this lifetime you're brave you're generous you're courageous those are traits that have developed as a result of your exposure to the past no matter how bad things get you can always see the good things you know when nobody else can see things clear you will probably be able to even see things through that you're very patient and you know what it is like to wait and you have this eternal you know spirit of you to bear things like maybe in some lifetime that you've had you know you had to go through extreme situations emotionally which has taught you to be patient and that continues in this lifetime for you as well now remember spiritually a lot of the abilities that you have now have come from a past life experience as well and i'm going to say this spiritual teachers that you were associated with in past lifetimes will continue to have a hold on you in this lifetime as well no matter what religion affiliation you have now you'll probably be drawn to a religion or a spiritual practice even though it may not be something that you're born with once again it's coming to you from a past lifetime and these bonds you cannot escape so i feel like you were also a very religious person in a past lifetime and that continues or may come up manifested in a later point of your life but i'll tell you as you mature in age especially age wise you'll be way way spiritual more spiritual than you are right now and it will be something that will come to you from a past lifetime and you may probably be people who absolutely love to travel you may be people who absolutely love to explore new territories because once again you may also have had a nomadic experience in a past lifetime you know those nomads who travel from city to sun, city you know or do their work and then move on so you may have had that experience in a past lifetime which continues to have a hold on you so it may work in this lifetime as if you know you have like one month two month and you just want to travel you want to explore something different it's like you know your soul is not happy being in one place and maybe which is why you're constantly dreaming about something different dreaming about a different kind of life so you may end up becoming world travelers in this lifetime as well because of this insatiable urge that you have to explore and honestly if you have had a nomadic birth previously it has a extremely strong hold Once again the possibility is that you're not satisfied with one house and you just want two houses or more than two houses yeah once again it comes as you know the manifestation of your old ways lucky you I'll tell you this because you know it's great to travel now you may also have a healing light remember i already told you you have this ability to advise people and maybe sometimes with that advice people feel better but no matter what you have a healing light so i won't be surprised if in one of your births you may have been a healer now healers are of different kinds you know some people heal with herbs some people heal with prayers and others heal with medicine so you may have been a medicine healer or a healer practitioner of some kind in a previous birth which makes you very very susceptible to give healing in this birth as well yeah that's also coming through now the possibility is in this lifetime you're very very independent and remember if you had a nomadic kind of life obviously you were very independent because people who have nomadic you know origins they tend to be you know very independent very free you may also not like people telling you what to do like you're like i am my own person i can make my decisions i can take care of myself so you always like it when people leave you alone so that solitary trait that you have may also be something that is coming to you from a past life 
so it may so happen that probably the rest of your family is like you know they love being together hanging out together but you may be like okay till a particular point you can hang out with your family you can hang out with your friends but after a point you're like you know i just want to be alone yeah once again belongs to a past life and of course again you know if you were a healer healers are people who are always busy and then you know that alone time for them is very rare because of which you know you value it a lot today beyond a point you just want to be alone so do you see how much of who we are we actually carry from our past life it's a lot sometimes in you all traits may not be present right now and they will develop as you age okay so just be patient with this i will tell you something for you the friends that you've had in your past lifetimes may actually meet you this time and i'll tell you you'll meet them a lot a lot of people there because you know being a nomadic tribe person that you were in a previous lifetime you probably had number of friends or because you were like a healer or a doctor in the previous lifetime you met number of people so it's like you meet somebody you get the sense of familiarity with them in this lifetime they are a member of your tribe whether you do it or not or they know it or not so you'll probably meet a lot of people that you get the sense that i have known them before yeah so once again you have a lot of these people being born with you in this lifetime as well and once again you will be people who are extremely gracious also the possibility is you'll forgive very easily you'll probably not hold grudges and you'll have a very short memory about who did wrong to you and when once again that may come to you from a previous lifetime as well and you know you are very generous so you share everything and anything so if you bought something new from a market and somebody probably asks you like oh this is very nice you'll probably be like do you want it take it so once again being of a generous heart that is something that comes to you from a previous birth once again this always comes to you because you've experienced extremes you've experienced riches you've experienced poverty yeah because of which you're very graceful and you're very giving yeah but overall i feel like these are the traits that you've picked up from a previous lifetime and i'd be very very curious to know which traits still continue with you and are you able to associate little things here and there so you know does my reading trigger any memories with you because that usually happens okay in any reading related to past life like you sort of start recollecting things okay so just think about this okay maybe you'll remember something at a later point of time please 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 come back and tell me on this video in the comments i am waiting and waiting to hear from you i'll see you next time bye Hello and if you selected pile 2 these are the personality traits and emotional traits that you're carrying from a past lifetime let's take a look i am so excited for you pile 2 now first of all let me just tell you this you are people who are very genuine and you're very very loyal extremely loyal and it is because that maybe in a past lifetime loyalty was very important like you had to stick together to survive it's also coming through so honestly i won't be surprised if one of your past lifetimes was actually in a war torn area where there was war so you had to stick together to survive to thrive because of which even to this date you're very loyal if you make a friend you're very unselfish towards them you're very kind towards them you will probably give them everything that you own Yeah, once again, that is a trait that comes to you from a past lifetime. You're very genuine. That is coming through. Along with that, you have this desire, probably in this lifetime, to save people, to save people from themselves sometimes, or to save people from a situation which is not ideal for them. Yeah, you probably come in and save the day. So that is a trait that you have. You want to help people sometimes at your own cost. yeah and once again it's coming to you from a past lifetime which makes me feel like you were born in an area where war was very prevalent yeah that's coming through now you are somebody who is always of the belief that it is better to mend relationships you probably don't let go of people easily like if you make a friend if you are in a loyal relationship you don't want to let go no matter what the possibility also is that you're afraid of losing people maybe because you've lost a lot of people in a past lifetime 
so you will give extra to make sure that your relationship is good and those people stay with you you're the mender in your family or in your relationships once again comes to you from past lifetime now clarity comes easily for you you're probably able to solve really complex problems for yourself and for others as well and when others don't get the answer easily you are probably the one who they turn to for clarity yeah so i feel like that is something that you're blessed with from a previous lifetime you may also have been like a philosophical thinker in a previous life yeah you may also have been somebody who influenced society a great deal you know people who write for newspapers or people who you know talk through the radio in a previous lifetime i'm instinctively getting those kind of words for you yeah but you are the person who brings clarity to situations that are not clear now you are probably people like you get hurt and you don't show it yeah if somebody is deeply and really badly affected you you'll still take it in your stride no matter how bad things get for you you have this capacity to bear enormous amount of you know sadness in your life once again you know with war and things like that happening you tend to lose your loved ones and because of which it becomes a practice for you so once again that is a trait that you're carrying and sometimes you know you get this feeling of loss even though everything is fine you probably think about you know oh i just wish these times were back you get this longing for people you don't even know sometimes or a home that you don't even know sometimes once again comes from a past lifetime and yes once again letting go doesn't come easily for you whether this is people whether this is places whether this is circumstances even things that are beyond mending you still hold hope for it yeah once again past life trait now there is also this part of you that is very very playful very mischievous you know you have this child like enthusiasm you may also be a prankster somebody who likes to tease people somebody who likes to you know make people laugh and that too is a past life trait coming to you now the most interesting part of this is the qualities that you have hidden in you those multiple talents that you find yourself having in this lifetime they are coming from multiple past lives as well especially magical qualities spiritual qualities yeah those are gifts that are like dormant in you but they have roots in a past lifetime so i feel like in one of your past lifetimes you were training to be like a spiritual being yeah so you may be having been training to be like a monk or a nun or a priest of a particular order and i feel like that may continue for you in this lifetime in different dimensions yeah but you have lot of abilities that you need to bring to life once again you're very very emotional people in this lifetime and sometimes you know what may happen is you will cry you'll cry very easily you'll probably watch a movie and you know you'll be like i really don't know why i'm crying your emotions get the best of you once again you have a longing for certain things once again from a past lifetime somebody that you've lost in a past lifetime you still longing for yeah maybe that is a soulmate connection for you which continues in this lifetime yeah now you may also be people who plan to the very details you're very very organized you don't like it when things are even a little bit here and there crystal clear planning is your trait and once again this is part of you which is a perfectionist like unless things are perfect you cannot sleep at night that's once again coming from a past lifetime to you now you are also somebody who takes a stand for a belief and they take a stand for it so once again i was telling you you may have been somebody who is like you know a social philosopher who put something in writing or you know a radio speaker at that which requires you to have strong opinions and those continue in this lifetime too yeah because of which you may find yourself standing for something that other people feel like okay you know this is really not necessary you don't have to get into things why are you getting involved yeah but that is your trait you cannot probably you know do a blind act to things you'll stand out for things yeah even though sometimes people may look at you as if you know you are the person who's most wrong in this situation once again 
comes to you from a past lifetime you're very different and along with that you know you may have affinity to prayers that belong to a different community different culture or religion also the possibility is your spiritual master or the spiritual practice that you really believe in or are drawn to belong to different communities they have nothing to do with you but you enjoy them so much like your heart feel fills with peace when you actually do those doors pairs that is also coming through for you yeah once again there is this particular place of worship that probably lies at a distance from you yeah once again this may lie in a different city very different from your resident or sometimes in a different country as well but you are very drawn to it and there's this part of you that cannot explain why you're drawn to it more than you're drawn to things of your own culture once again the possibility is this is happening because you were born during a time when those practices were at their peak and you've picked that up and once again as i told you you are probably a priest of a particular order monk nun of a particular order and you're drawn to those practices in these lifetimes as well that continues from you so your prayer affiliations your religious spiritual affiliations may also be from a culture that you're not familiar with once again past life attitude now you are likely to be people in this lifetime who are very very selfless yeah you dedicate yourself to a cause and you dedicate yourself to the cause in the most unselfish manner so you may be people in this lifetime who do a lot of volunteer work you gain not a penny from it but you feel like you know it's your duty to do that and you get into it that is what i feel like for you and at all point of time you know you have this mother energy in you you want to take care of people you want to nourish people you want to give people what they've not experienced in their life yeah so which makes me feel like maybe you were a nurse or you know some kind of caretaker in a pre- and that sense of caring will continue so of course i already know that you have a lot of healers present here so maybe that you know affiliation to the practice of healing or the affiliation to the practice of medicine may also be something that you carrying forth from a previous lifetime you know actually that happens more frequently than we know it the careers that we had in a past lifetime if we were very dedicated to it to it in a past life that we want to continue in any form sometimes we don't take it as a full time profession but sometimes we do it part time because it's like a strong part of who we are it's a part of our dna in that sense you know memories that are hidden which automatically take you in those directions and i feel like that may be something that is happening to you in this lifetime so for you once again you know it's a very interesting birth i feel like you i see multiple lifetimes here one is that of you know somebody who was born in an area where war was happening second is you know of that of a social or philosophical thinker and the third is that of you know a nurse or somebody who takes care of the wounded i feel like those things are like very much you so you know i would love to know how much of great straight you feel like you still retain with you and if when you were listening to reading did any memories trigger because usually in a past life readings you know some things come to you even if they are faint you know because personally for me that has happened to me and it may happen to you as well yeah so let me know about that in the comment section but overall these are the personality traits that you're carrying with you from a previous lifetime or lifetimes and i will leave you here with nothing but my best wishes and prayers for your life i will see you next time bye hello everyone and if you've selected pile 3 these are the personality and emotional traits that you're carrying from a past lifetime let's take a look at what those traits are now for you pile 3 you guys are people who are never ever satisfied whether it is with learning or whether it is with discovering something new like your soul is always seeking and that will continue for you because it's something that you get with you in a previous lifetime you may have been somebody who traveled the world in a previous lifetime you were probably somebody who discovered new territories or discovered new places to you know stay you know those warrior tribes that is the kind of impression i'm getting on my mind 
you had to go from one place to another and you know just live a new life seek up that is who you are in this lifetime and because of which the possibility is you want to learn number of things you want to learn about different cultures you want to learn about different areas of knowledge and that may be continuing for you in this lifetime now you have lot of capacity your will power is something that nobody can defeat you the strength of spirit that you have you very strong strong head space wise and sometimes you may also be very strong physically like of course you can actually be an athlete in this lifetime because of you know this part of you which is like i am not going to give up i want to achieve something this part of you which is driven and wants to achieve moving forward without you know thinking about your spiritual capacity or your physical capacity once again a trait that you carry from a past lifetimes now you are very people who are very dedicated okay you may or may not be people who are very disciplined as well so when you keep things up at a particular location you want to find it there or you it makes you really really mad so very particular very organized that may be a trait that you're carrying from a past lifetime as well because maybe in a past lifetime keeping things properly or holding on to treasure was something that you were responsible for so you may have been somebody who was in charge of money or valuables and security and because of which you were supposed to be organized yeah uh, one of the past lifetimes that i see for you is you know being employed with a king you were probably a courtier or a minister yeah and taking care of the wealth and the well being i feel like that is something that is for you in a past life and that comes to you in the form of attributes now you are probably people who are very used to change or you will probably be people who want change all the time Like you're probably not happy with things being stagnant. You probably bet get bored very easily. Like you know, one day you want to watch one movie, second day you want to watch a second movie. One day you want this knowledge, second day you want that second knowledge. Once again, brings you back to being the seeker, somebody who moved around frequently to discover newer territories, and because of which change is something that you enjoy. especially it is with regards to different people cultures cuisines that's where you once again comes from past lifetime now however your home may be a place that is very very dear to you yeah in some situations it may so happen that when you want to travel you want to travel really far away otherwise you're more than satisfied being a home body but no matter what your home is always going to be a place that is very special for you you very emotional about your home you may also be very emotional about your family because you may not have had a great family life in your past life you had to move away from them or you constantly had to you know travel from one land to another because once again you may have been a courtier with a king and as the king travels the courtier or the minister travels because of which that home home country home situation is very important to you in this lifetime now you may also in this lifetime be people whose presence in the terms of image of the world is very important like you care about what people think you care about what people think about your clothes you care about what people thinks about your social standing and once again you know brings me back to your previous lifetime of course it's important to have like a social standing for you in this lifetime you have this drive to be an achiever no matter in what field you just want to be known you want to be famous you want to be an achiever yeah once again a past life trait that you carry because see if you have been famous in a previous lifetime if you held a position of respect it is not something that goes away easily yeah so may or may not be something that you have right now but possibility is there now you are people you like being happy you enjoy the finer things in life see sometimes for you you know it's not about the money it's about the experiences everyday experiences travel experiences but you want to be happy and you people are very very miserable if even little things that go wrong in your life come to you 
you don't like to be miserable you just want to be happy which i think is an awesome quality honestly because once again you have the capacity to overcome anything with your personal capacity in one particular lifetime you faced hardships and hardships of enormous nature yeah so prisoners of war is also possible for a couple of you yeah so that's also something i see for you and which is why you probably are focused with happiness being happy and being happy with very tiny and little things now you also may be a healer of some sorts okay now healer can be a physician at that healer can be a mental healing professional or just healing talking to people and making them feel better healers are of all kinds bug flower therapist of all kinds may also find themselves here yeah but that understanding medicine comes very easily for you yeah so i feel like that will happen to you in this lifetime once again comes from a past lifetime which means you may also have been a medical professional in one of your lives and when it comes to medical professionals in a past life i see you being a doctor okay especially medical doctor yeah now no matter what i feel like in this lifetime you are going to be people who are very very wise and people will come to you for advice no matter what even if you are 30 you 60 you are 80 people see that wisdom in you and they are like you know okay maybe i should should just go to this person and this person will give me just the right kind of answer the one that i need yeah it's because you've had such diverse experiences you see diverse lifetimes and they have an effect and you know i've always told you palthri you are very old souls and old souls have like this you know gold mine of knowledge gold mine of wisdom i should say and that continues so you probably going to be people who advise people a great deal sometimes it may happen that you know you may not advise people on a day to day capacity but your job may be of advising people something yeah this can also happen in this manner now you will be very very particular about your spiritual life and your devotion to one place of worship one place of worship okay i'm not talking about religion i'm talking about a place of worship is going to be very strong like your soul pulls you to that place time and again which is basically telling you that you have probably known the ascended master who probably lived during that time in a previous lifetime or your connection with that place itself is sacred and strong but this is always going to be that one place of worship that you believe in more than usual now okay you may sometimes be a show off you know you once again i told you your social image is very important to you you don't like it when people feel like okay this is just an ordinary person you're not satisfied with being ordinary you know just like a minister of a king they're not ordinary people right like, and they don't like being ordinary so that's something that will continue with you you'll make every effort in this lifetime to stand out to be different to be unique you probably want your fashion to be unique you probably want your home to be very very unique very different you probably like art pieces that nobody owns you would like things that are different yeah you want to stand out once again something that comes from a past lifetime now cold weather may hold a special place in your heart or colder countries may hold like a special pull for you yeah and once again if colder places hold a special pull for you you've had a lifetime in these places especially i see this around you know the north pole specific scandinavian countries you know you may have had a lifetime there colder places where it snows yeah so you have that affiliation you have a past life there which continues even though you may be born in like a tropical island you still want to move to a colder place so just experience snow it makes you happy somehow yeah and let me just tell you this there is a part of you who has a teacher so one of your previous births may actually have been of a spiritual teacher which again makes you very very prone to giving advice or maybe you may have been you know dedicated to a special order of spiritual practice and hence that one place of worship that holds greater amount of hold on your mind and soul 
is because you were associated with that place in a previous lifetime as well but regardless you have a lot to teach the world because as always you are very ancient souls and ancient souls in any capacity they always take up the role of a teacher once again that comes to you as a gift and i feel like this teacher awakening in you will happen during the time of your saturn return now you have to check your horoscope to see when that saturn return happens but saturn return will change your life and make you a teacher whether you want it or not sometimes literally make you like a school or university teacher but a teacher nevertheless because teachers are of all kinds right so that is who you are in this lifetime and all of the things that are prescribed to you come from your past births you may of course have numerous other traits that are more you in this lifetime but if you show any of this this is a gift from your past coming into your present yeah and please 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 if you find some of these traits matching to you please let me know and if some of the things that have been telling you about your past life trigger some memories please let me know about that because i enjoy nothing more than people telling me about their past life experiences their past life regression experiences in certain cases yeah but overall this is what i have for your personality traits that you're carrying from your past lifetime and as always as i wrap this up i'm going to leave you with nothing but my best wishes and lots and lots and lots of love i will see you next time bye